other developing headline, this dangerous heat from the Midwest now moving into the east. Severe storms moving into the northeast, too. And tonight, record set in Chicago. In fact, the feel-like reading there, 115 degrees. Tonight, more than 80 million Americans are on alert. The heat index tomorrow, the feel-like reading with the humidity combined in the triple digits from the south all the way up to the northeast. New York City will feel close to 100 tomorrow. And, of course, the storms, large hail and damaging winds, all possible. So Ginger Z has the forecast of Alex Perez in Chicago tonight. Tonight, more than 80 million Americans is sweltering in the heartland as a life-threatening late summer heat wave spreads east, breaking records. Chicago under an excessive heat warning for the second day in a row, where it felt like 115 degrees this afternoon. It's really hard to kind of just like breathe and grasp air. It was almost like this humid mix with the warmth. Not something we're used to in Chicago. Chicago Public Schools officials canceling all outdoor activities. I consider the highest risk demographic the adolescents who are exercising outdoors, who are pushing themselves. For many students this week, the school day ending early because of hot classrooms. I think the coolest temperature that I took was 78 degrees, and that was at 730 this morning. The nation's largest power grid operator, PJM Interconnection, issuing an alert to providers in 13 states plus Washington, D.C., warning of conditions that may require all generators to operate at their maximum output capability. And the extreme heat is fueling extreme storms. Overnight, sirens are sounding outside the Minnesota Twins game. Damaging winds, torrential rain, and hail knocking out power to more than 150,000 homes and businesses in the Twin Cities metro area and western Wisconsin. And David, that same system leading to a severe thunderstorm watch here in Chicago right now. The heat and the rain both now heading east. David? Yeah, those storms look ferocious. Alex, thank you. Let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Ginger Z with the Thank you, Faith. In the northeast tonight, the mosquito concern has now turned deadly. A mosquito-borne virus killing one person in New Hampshire, a Massachusetts town taking action, closing parks and fields after dusk. And the spring in and around New York City, authorities in several states are now watching this closely. ABC's Ariel Reshef on this again tonight. Tonight, planes and trucks in Massachusetts are loaded with pesticides as health officials try to protect communities at high risk for the triple E virus, a rare but potentially deadly mosquito-borne illness. The targeted spring comes just hours after neighboring New Hampshire reported what is likely the country's first death this year from the virus. While the risk uh, is very low, the cases can be really severe, and this is why we want to reduce our contacts with mosquitoes. Health officials say the adult patient was hospitalized with severe central nervous system disease, testing positive for eastern equine encephalitis virus. It's New Hampshire's first death in 10 years. While most infected people don't have symptoms, some cases can be severe. About 30% of those who get brain inflammation die. The severe cases are what we're most concerned about, of encephalitis and disorientation and potentially uh, death. And that's why, of course, we are especially concerned about any cases of triple E. Plymouth, Massachusetts, which is at high risk for triple E, is taking extra precautions. Plymouth has decided to close their fields and parks from dusk to dawn, again, because that is the most prevalent time for mosquito activity. Overnight, New York City sprang to reduce the risk of another mosquito-borne disease, West Nile virus. And David, officials say the best way to protect yourself, use bug spray. Make sure to wear long sleeves and pants if you are outside at dusk and dawn and avoid any standing water. David? Ariel Reshef with us again tonight. Thank you. To the indexing tonight, the drug maker Eli Lilly is making its popular weight loss drug, Zepbound, more affordable for anyone whose insurance won't cover it. Zepbound will now be sold on the Eli Lilly website with a prescription. The cost is about half of the retail price. Travis and Jason Kelsey reportedly reaching a deal worth more than $100 million for their podcast, New Heights. Reportedly signing with Amazon's Wondery. Their podcast often ranks at the top on Apple and Spotify already. When we come